Hello, in this tutorial we are going to apply a zoom and fade effect to a shape using Adobe Flash um, Professional Creative Cloud. So we're going to create a shape and uh, during the animation it's going to zoom in and then fade that shape. So to get started we need to create a new Action Script 3.0 file. So click on Action Script 3.0 and then that will bring up the stage, the timeline and all the toolbars. Okay, now, first thing that we'll do on the very first frame of the timeline is draw the shape as it's meant to be at the beginning, so it's at its smallest size. So I'm going to create a circle using the oval tool. I'll hold down the shift key while I click and drag to draw that circle so that it remains a um, circle instead of an oval. Now, it's going to start like this. It's going to be a small circle, and then it will zoom in during the animation to become a big circle. So I'll make it around about this size. I'll just use the selection tool just to drag that into the middle, roughly into the middle. Okay, so that's the circle, that's the size of the circle it's going to be, and I'll just leave um, that color as red to begin with. So that's the size that will be on the first frame, at the beginning of the animation. All right, now we need to right click on this shape and convert it to a graphic symbol. So click on Convert Symbol and then choose Graphic from the drop-down box. Give it a name and then click on OK. Now on the first frame here we can right-click and right-click and click on Create Motion Tween. Now that will automatically add a motion tween of about 24 frames. If we want to make that longer we can just um, go to the end of the motion tween and click and then um, drag that to make it shorter or to make it longer but I'll just leave it as it is. Alright so we've got the first frame here that's what it looks like and then we've got the 24th frame here that's what it looks like and now we need to zoom it in. So if we grab the free transform tool and on that last frame of the motion tween the 24th frame we can hold down shift while we click and drag with the free transform tool and we can enlarge that shape. Okay, there we go. So we had the zoom effect working now, and now it looks a bit like the Japanese flag, which wasn't meant to, but anyway, that's cool. So we've got the first frame, it zooms in, zooms in, zooms in, and then we're up to the 24th frame. Now, on the 24th frame, we can click on this shape, our circle, and then the properties bar over here, underneath color effect, we can choose a style. So we'll go down and choose alpha. And the alpha setting is initially 100%, but we'll change that to about 50%. Okay, so we'll apply a fade effect. Now if we play that, there we go, it zooms in and it fades. Okay, so you don't need to add that fade effect, but um, you might want to do that as well. So using a motion tween effect, we can zoom in on an object and fade it as well. We might even get this to, um, while well, we've got the free transform tool there, we might make that circle take up the whole entire stage, okay? So, there we go. So we can click on Control uh, Test Movie in Flash Professional. And we can see what that would look like once we save and export that animation. Okay, right now it's pretty fast, so we could extend that out by clicking and dragging on the motion tween, and we could make that last for longer, so the effect is a little bit slower. There we go. All right, so that's how to apply a zoom and fade effect um, to a shape using the motion tween tool the um, alpha color effect and the free transform tool in Adobe Flash. Thanks for watching.